States. Prince Charles couldn't have chosen a better time to learn about politics. Man's best friend is depicted on the new British commemorative stamps, the Old English Sheepdog, the Irish Setter, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and a West Highland Terrier. What do real dogs think of the new stamps? Not much, but these are aristocrats with their thoughts on higher things. The Pekingese Yorkley Tomiko II is just one of the canine blue bloods at this year's Crufts Dog Show in Earl's Court. All of them endure unspeakable indignities just to catch the eye of the judges. Only the most expensive perfume for the little butterfly dog. Even the massive St. Bernard has to put up with it. From the sublime to the ridiculous, a chihuahua. He's the kind that pays to be generous to, a great Dane. Love me, love my dog. His show name is a yard long, but he's still lovable old butch to the kids. When the Dalmatians are being judged in their section, the competition is keen. And exhausting. Then the moment the whole dog world has waited for, the selecting of supreme champion. Out of 8,000 of Britain's best dogs, these beauties make the shortlist. High hopes are held for the Chihuahua, Belmura's Brevier. After careful consideration by the judges, Belmura's is nominated reserve champion. First prize, the supreme accolade of Crufts, goes to a Kerry Blue Terrier named, wait for it, Callahan. When the oohs and ahs die down, the winner steps forward. Needless to say, the owner of this champion, Kerry Blue, is Tickle Pink. She's Mrs. John Streetfield of Brighton. Runner-up Chihuahua Belmura's Brevia doesn't look too downhearted. Meanwhile, top dog Callahan basks in the glory of it all. Could this be an omen in Britain's election year? <laughs>